What's up guys? So I wanted to make a quick little update video. I've been running the One UI 4.1 update. It is out for, this is the Sprint version, I think. Yeah, this is the Sprint version, which is technically T-Mobile now. Um, so it should be out on unlocked S10Es and all that good stuff. Um, so you can see One UI 4.1 is on here running Android 12. So basically I just wanna answer some general questions. Um, basically, has the battery life gotten any better or any worse? And no, the battery life is still about the same for me. Uh, it's still around the four hours and 30 uh, minute mark. Um, so, you know, there's no increase or decrease basically. Um, also, performance wise, I feel like the phone is a little bit smoother with the animations uh, to me. Um, it just feels just a tad bit smoother. Um, it just feels a little bit faster to me. Um, but I think it's mostly just feels like the animations are just a little bit uh, less choppy. Um, but the phone was already pretty smooth by itself since it's, you know, got this Android 12 update. Um, and you guys just ignore that. My cat's meowing today. Um, but yeah, let's go into the features. So we have pretty much all the same essential features. Just in case you didn't see the other videos, I'll go ahead and redo it for you. One of the biggest features... Uh, with this One UI 4.1 update is widgets. So you just tap the screen down or hold the screen down, click widgets, and you will see the smart widgets here. And it, I think it's really useful. I actually think Google might go ahead and take this and put it in the standard um, or the vanilla, you know, Android experience because it's really that good and it just cleans up the device uh, so well. So you can see basically it's like, you know, what iPhone does with the widget stacking essentially. Um, so if I go ahead and well, let me just go ahead and add this, you can see I have those widgets there. You can see just how nice everything looks, but even if I tap it, hold it, I can actually go ahead and add a widget here uh, if I want to. So I just really like this feature. Like I said, it would be silly for Google not to implement this and then boom, you know, I can just keep adding widgets and keep adding widgets. Also, what I really like about this is that you go to your widget settings, you can actually give it like that really cool glass transparency type of look. I think that looks really cool as well, too. Uh, it really depends on your, you know, what kind of theme you want to go for. Uh, also, in the Samsung Gallery, I think a pretty big one uh, is the, let me find a good picture here. So, uh, we'll do this one right here. And basically... If you tap the three dots, you can see Add Portrait Effect is on here. Basically, it'll give you that DSLR kind of look. Um, basically, it'll just focus you more in the shot here. So if I pull it back, you can see more detail in the background. Turn it up, you can see my face is more, you know, I'm more of the center of this shot. All right, so there is a feature called Object Eraser here. As you can see, when you go to Samsung Gallery, click the three dots, you see Object Eraser. But it actually is not on the S10e. I can't find it here. So it looks like Samsung opted to take that feature out. Uh, basically, what it will do is, you know, I'll show you guys. Um, but, you know, if you have, you know, another S10 device or something like that, you can see I can get rid of objects. You can see it tries to, like, erase it. Um, but they opted out. I'm not sure why they did that. Um, it's definitely you know just as powerful as this note 10 plus um here so it's a little bizarre um so yeah i'm not sure why that feature is taken out uh, also the or not the themes but the wallpapers and styles has been you have your color palette now that refresh is still here to give you a more sort of accurate look and basically you know the whole you know icons matching the rest of the color palette all that good stuff matching the wallpaper uh, still here um so yeah i'm not sure why they took object eraser um out of there now the next important feature that we need to check we're going to go back into settings we're going to go to battery and device care and we're going to click on memory so we have the ram plus option it is still on here it's set to standard four so if you've ever had like a you know a problem with running a ton of applications in the background on the s10e i'll go ahead and set this to six um but i don't do a ton of multitasking myself so it's fine on, on four but if you do want that 
uh, you know, just more RAM on your phone to be able to run more apps in the background without it sort of lagging or jittering and stuff like that. Uh, definitely turn this uh, to six. You will see a pretty good performance jump there. Um, so yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much the all of the essential um, little things with the One UI 4.1. And again, I'm not really sure why they went ahead and took that out. And also, guys, if you guys want the Android 12 clock, because I kept you know getting comments about that, uh, basically you just install the standard Google clock in the Play Store. So when I come into here now, and I go into widgets. Now you see I have two clocks. Now I have like the standard like Google looking clock that you would find on the Pixel. So I really like this clock. I think it looks pretty cool. You have like a transparent one than this one. So I like this one. And they also have those other two options as well too. But that's essentially it. As far as the One UI 4.1 update, it is doing a really good job on this phone. Unfortunately, they took the object erasure out. Um, but other than that, everything else is still here. And this is still a great phone to buy if you guys are interested in this phone. I have a ton of videos going fully in depth on the cameras, display, body, talking about everything. So please check those videos out. Tons of comparisons also with this phone and other phones. Just type it in the search bar, Matthews Tech S10e. And all of those videos will come up, guys. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.